I think a lot of us Baltimore Ravens fans owe Nelson Aguilar an apology. I remember when the Baltimore Ravens first signed Nelson Aguilar, there were a lot of fans that were like, oh, why? What are we doing signing him? He drops everything. He's terrible. He's this. He's that. Uh, but Nelson Aguilar, through OTAs, through minicamp, through training camp, he just continued to make plays. You would always hear positive when it came to Nelson Aguilar. You would always hear about him making touchdown catches in practice and training camp and all that. You would always hear about him getting open, making catches, and making plays throughout. And that was beautiful to hear. But then we were thinking, huh, he's doing it in practice. So that's a good start. But let's see if it actually translates to the game. Now, the first game, it was quiet for him, but in the second game against the Bengals, especially with Odell Beckham Jr. going down, Nelson Aguilar, he stepped in and stepped up. He really did his thing. He showed out, had that beautiful touchdown catch, and had several other catches as well. And I think probably the toughest catch where Lamar threw it to him, and he was right in the middle. It was a Bengals defender here, Bengals defender there, but Lamar threw it to him to where he threw it behind him but him throwing it behind Nelson Aguilar allowed Nelson Aguilar to move his body and not get whacked. And that is one thing that I've seen highlighted from a lot of Ravens fans this week, how Lamar Jackson, he does a very good job of protecting his wide receivers. But that's another story for another day. We're speaking about Nelson Aguilar right now and how we all owe him a big sorry. And let me, I'm, I'm going to get into more why we owe him a big apology. But first, let's hear from our sponsor. Now we know Morgan & Morgan makes your injury claims easy and quick. But you know what else is quick? Kyle Busch. And as a proud partner of Driver Kyle Busch, Morgan & Morgan is giving away two tickets to see Kyle Busch race in Las Vegas plus a $2,000 check. And just as simple as it is to file a claim with Morgan & Morgan, which you can do in eight clicks or less, it'll be just as easy to enter to try to win your two free tickets. To enter, go to morganvegas.com slash engravingvids or text engraving to for the people. That's 484-373-6753. Or click one of the links in the video's description. So I remember when the Baltimore Ravens first signed Nelson Aguilar, I was worried. And I was worried because I thought that, uh-oh, that's it. Uh, they're not going to sign any more wide receivers. They're not going to draft any more wide receivers. Nelson Aguilar is going to be their big free agent acquisition at the wide receiver position this offseason. And... I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Not that I didn't like the signing. I thought the signing was solid, but I just thought that that would be the signing and the only one or the main one, the biggest one. And I just thought that that wouldn't be good enough. But I felt like, all right, with them trying to get Lamar Jackson re-signed, they are going to use the, oh, we ain't got no money for no receiver thing. And it was going to be unfortunate, but they were probably going to get away with it. So you know what? I guess my issue wasn't even with Nelson Aguilar himself. It was actually with the Baltimore Ravens. But the Baltimore Ravens, they proved me wrong. And I was so glad that they did. Because after they signed Nelson Aguilar, they ended up signing Odell Beckham Jr. And after they signed Nelson Aguilar and Odell Beckham Jr., they ended up drafting Zay Flowers. So they kept the pieces coming. And then, of course, they, they, they brought in Laquan Treadwell and they, they assigned like a million different receivers. A lot of them aren't with the team anymore. But something that I really appreciated that they did was retain some receivers who a lot of us thought might be shipped out like a Devin DuVernay being in the last year his contract his cap hit his numbers just significantly went up so I was thinking ooh, Devin DuVernay might be in double danger but he's still here Rashad Bateman especially with the tweets that he put out I thought that man they signed Nelson Aguilar they signed Odell Beckham Jr. they drafted Zay Flowers oh that's another first round wide receiver remember the last time they drafted a first round receiver what happened to the previous first round receiver he got shipped out so I was thinking ooh, could Rashad Bateman be gone but no they retained him too and y'all know me I want to keep everybody and more but Nelson Aguilar he has been a nice contributor to these Baltimore Ravens we saw in this last game against the Bengals Odell Beckham Jr. was down he went out and he did not return uh, but because of the way the Baltimore Ravens have built up this roster because of the way that Eric DaCosta really attacked the passing game this offseason and the the passing targets for Lamar Jackson this offseason he had a Nelson Aguilar in the chamber he had a Zay Flowers in the chamber he had a Mark Andrews in the chamber he had a Devin DuVernay in the chamber he had a Justice Hill in the chamber so he had all these different options of weapons for Lamar Jackson but speaking about Nelson Aguilar specifically he just came in and did his thing. He did not miss a beat. He just, the offense still continued to run smoothly with Nelson Aguilar in there. And I appreciated that so much. I loved it. 
And one thing that I noticed, and I know y'all noticed it too, especially seeing that highlight when Nelson Aguilar caught that touchdown uh, and Zay Flowers was sitting there cheering and he went like this and then he was talking his trash to the Bengals uh, cornerback. That showed me that they, the receivers, they also have confidence in Nelson Aguilar. And in order for the receivers to have confidence in you, that means you have really been doing your thing. Beyond what we've been hearing about, because again, like we talked about earlier, we had continued to hear about Nelson Aguilar all through training camp and whatnot, him making all these plays. But the receivers, they see it too, and they really believed in him. And that made me believe in him that much more. Now, I know with Nelson Aguilar, it was always talked about the, the drops, 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 drops. It was, that, was, that was a big thing with, that's talked about with Nelson Aguilar. But something that we said uh, from when he got signed is that we saw, we, we, we looked at the numbers. We know that he was known for drops before uh, with Philly and, and with, um, with the Raiders too, I believe. Uh, and a little bit with the Patriots, but not as much. But when we saw his numbers with the Patriots, we saw the drops go down, but we also saw the receptions. We saw the yards, all of that go down too because he was sort of taking a back seat to a lot of other guys. And I talked about when they first signed him how with Nelson Aguilar, I wouldn't be concerned with the drops. Would not be concerned with the drops. Because you know who else drops the ball? Rashad Bateman. He be having his drops too. You know who else drops the ball? Odell Beckham Jr. He be having his drops too. So my point is, even those other guys, they have drops too. But we don't focus on, on that so much. Why? Because they make plays. Because they make stuff happen. Mark Andrews, Ravens top target for the past couple years. He certainly has his drops. He had one in this Bengals game. He just dropped it, but they went back to him because why? He makes plays. So with Nelson Aguilar, that's all he got to continue to do, make plays. If he has a drop here and there, okay. Odell going to have that, Rashad going to have that. All these people are going to have their mess-ups here and there, but my biggest thing continues to be. It was the same way for Hollywood, too. You know how people talked about Hollywood. Oh, man, Hollywood, he be dropping this and that, da 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 But Hollywood made plays he made a lot more plays than he had drops and it's the same way with mark andrews and the others as long as they making a lot more plays than they have because they're going to have drops they're not going to catch everything they're not going to catch every single ball that's intended for them they're not going to catch every single perfect pass from lamar jackson they're going to have drops it's going to happen but well hopefully it doesn't that'd be nice. but it is going to happen but as long as they are making more plays than they're missing that's what the most important thing to me is and i think it should really be for everybody. So Nelson Aguilar, we appreciate you. We are glad you are a Baltimore Raven. And we appreciate you for your on-field experience, but we also appreciate what you can bring this Baltimore Ravens team off the field. And that's the experience of being a Super Bowl champion. So Nelson Aguilar, Odell Beckham Jr., Justin Tucker, and more. I hope everybody on this team that's a Super Bowl champion already, I hope this year you go out and get ringed. Number two. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And we out.